We're going to be showing you some things today about caulking around the kitchen sink. You should probably choose a clear color caulking if you have a dark counter like the one you see here uh, because you don't really want a white against your dark countertop. Get the clear caulking, get your caulking gun. Today Mr. Jong is going to show you how to um, use a tool he made to spread the caulking. Of course you can always use your finger to smooth the caulking into the crack uh, but this very uh, neat little tool will make it a lot simpler and neater. This is a, just advertisement instead of three in away. I use the scissor to cut the corner for example and apply against a corner like this. This will look very nice against the corner. If it's like the sink, it doesn't have a an easy way for, for you to lean against to guide the position then what you should do is uh, cut another one similar like this you can cut like this you can spread s smoothly like this you know you, you probably should try different size to reach the desirable size like this or if you use this one you know instead of a holding it you use a climb like this just hold like this this would work as well like this just make sure you're not scraping your countertop right a white uh, cloth available if uh, for example if stick on the top can yeah let's uh, try this yeah so this works Originally, I used a hand, but with this tool, it's uh, much easier and cleaner. See how much better it is? Super. So I would assume that when you scrape some and you end up with a, a bit of a blob there, that you can just apply that to another part of the, the sink. Yeah, but I have this uh, whole tube there already. If I don't use that, it will get uh, hardened anyway. Uh, so that tube is more than enough for, for both sides of this sink. Yeah. Mm. Gee, it might be a good time to do all the other sinks in the house. Okay. Except we have to have one that we can use for water. Yeah, so yeah, that's another thing. It'll take time to dry. Uh, I have a blade here. If something you don't want to redo it, you, you use blade. Just take it, take the rest away. To, to scrape off the excess. Uh, to mean. scrape off the excess. Well, since we do need the other sink to be able to get water, I guess can do the other sink next weekend. My wife uh, so planned all the activity for me. So that we won't have to waste any of this wonderful putty. Caulking this. Caulking rather. I hope you can cut some of this audio out. The combination of a uh, clam and this uh, works not as well as when I do this surface. Always if you have this flat versus stable, that's better with this. Sometimes wobble a little bit. See, this is a new one. I'm trying to do a... Uh, see, pretty fast. That's uh, pretty clean. Once you, you have done it, just you need to uh, use this uh, scrape the excess off. We see this little tools I made uh, works for the kitchen sink and I'm trying to the bathroom. Uh, I just uh, put some caulk in and let's see how it goes. See, it, it works. See, once it's... Well, you don't have to do this long. You can do a section at a time, but I'm just doing this long. And let's see how efficient this little tool is. Yeah, it looks good. Except there's still black marks. Yeah, but because I used the, I didn't want to open the other one. This is a clear one. I should use the white one. The one used the kitchen is a clear one. I either should have a clean the better or use the white color to mask off. Mm. So actually, you cleaned some, so you really can caulk right over what's already there. Yeah, I could mask off. So, so it will stick to old caulking. Yeah, and the purpose of this just see, show you how efficient this uh, little tool is. Okay, thank you. Thank you.